let's begin. Week number two for Eloise. My name is Jody Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi Eloise. Hello, nice I'm to see you. I'm loving the sunshine there. You in your garden yes, again? Yes, we have sunshine and we are in the garden. You can't oh. see much of it. So yeah, but it'd be silly not to the opportunity to get a bit of seeds. I've had, a I've had a really tough couple of days. Obviously, I was at the spa yesterday and you know, it's just been really tough for me. <laughs> and then you were at a concert dancing, though, last night. Yeah, I go to a lot of gigs. It's my uh, downfall. I don't know if it's a downfall or not, but yeah, I tend to go to a lot. No, yeah. it's definitely not a downfall. You said that you dance all the time, so it's a positive. Get my steps up. Just but like if you move your arms, if you're doing a fitness class, I just move my legs doing a dancing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what is the news on the scales this week? Perfect. One. So we lost it's three. One. We lost three pounds last week. So we've lost one this week, which is obviously an average of two every week, which is perfect. How has yeah, this week been? A creepy little number. It's uh, it was like last time when I was doing it. It was like two pound every week. It was two pound. It never changed. It was always two pound. It's like it's back to haunt me again, isn't it? That two pound. It's not a bad thing. It really isn't. I just think I just um, I'm really hard on myself. Um, yeah. I don't know if that's that's. It is a bad thing. I'm really tough on myself because I push myself quite a bit, and sometimes I think, why don't I just see just that little bit more. For how much to sort of push myself and, and i think that i'm just failing at it rather than just being happy it's one and i should be happy it's one because if you said oh i put a pound on then i'd be upset so why am i not happy that it's a pound off Absolutely. so i know all this and how has this week been compared to last week um pretty much the same to be honest I'm still completely on track. I'm still really um, mindful of everything. And when I'm going out, I'm quite mindful. Yeah. Even yesterday at the spa. I did do the lower calories on all the options um, yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's quite surprising to see the calories on the food yesterday at the spa because there was a superfood salad and it came up at, I don't know, 380 calories, but then they hadn't added the chicken or the salmon on. And suddenly that was another 380 calories you're talking nearly 700 calories for a for super salad. Food salad yeah yeah exactly and then so I went for the chicken breast option and it was like 590 so it was crazy so you know not to go for the salad whereas if the calories weren't on there before you think oh I'll choose a salad because that's the good option Absolutely. but um it really really does it makes you think a lot doesn't it these, these calories yeah. when you see but it's, it's good though it's good it keeps keeps me on track and it helps me a lot right let's have a little run through your food diary then for uh the last few days so for breakfast this morning you had eggs on toast you'll probably find that every single morning <laughs> okay fab yeah you've had something i haven't seen thing. before a sugared out flapjack is that a low sugar flapjack it is yeah it is it's uh it was i literally have not eaten much today and that's my own fault for getting up a little bit later and then having my chiropractor and only just getting in but oh. so that was literally in my car when i finished the chiropractor so i literally oh wow nice so i mean it says sugared out there's always going to be sugar in it i know that but if there's no extra sugar, I'm just having a look what it says on the sugars. 4.8 grams of sugar per bar. Yeah. So it would just so have not, some natural sugar in there, I think. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's the just, apricots or, yeah, it's the apricots that are flavouring that. So that's right. not too bad. I didn't think. Right. Wednesday lunchtime, you had some mushrooms, banana and apples with your flapjack just yeah and I literally had the mushrooms because I didn't take any lunch to work and I went down to the canteen the calorie thing completely scared me again because they've calorie everything at work and I saw like even a tuna sandwich was 400 and something calories without me even adding my fruit and that on so I thought no way yeah um, and she had cooked some mushrooms up to put on a mushroom stroganoff and I literally just asked for a bowl <laughs> <laughs> 
Perfect. I, I literally just, I, uh, I just couldn't do anything else. My mind just wouldn't let me go for anything else. So, but they're tasty. Yeah. Uh, for dinner, you had a bean chili with lots of vegetables. Have a lot of veg. And then a little snack there was some 70% dark chocolate. Always my two squares. Uh, for lunch on Tuesday, Korean bites. What were they? Have you seen the cauldron range? They do a lot of the falafels. Yes. The Korean bites are another option. So a very look, they look very much like the falafel, but they are a Korean bite. So they've just got a bit more of a type. They're quite nice. Yeah. Are they Something made of chickpeas cold. then? Have they got that falafel texture? Slightly mushier, I'd say, than, a, than, than the falafel. They're not as dry tasting. Oh, nice. They sound nice. Yeah, they were. I found those in Morrison's. I picked them up originally thinking they were falafel. And when I got home, I was like, these are not <laughs> Yeah. But so Korean anyway. food's got a nice spice to it as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like more cumin and stuff like that. It's not a, it's not a strong one. I'm not into really heavy spiced foods. Yeah. So I think that's, yeah, it was nice, that. Not bad. And then in the evening, you had a lentil and mushroom bolognese, which sound, also sounds lovely. Yep. Again, lots of vegetables, bad. which yeah. is perfect. I love my veg. <laughs> uh, Monday were the, was the same thing, this time with Moroccan couscous. Yeah. Oh, and you've had that fruity coronation hummus. I had some of that the other week. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's not too bad. You have to just be careful on it because I think it... I think I weighed one portion that was over 100 calories. I thought, oh, I don't want to waste 100 calories. So I, I went half again on it because I only just needed a little bit to flavour. So yeah. I literally took it down to 50 something calories, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, 56 calories good. per 25 yeah. gram. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the evening on Monday, you had roast chicken. Um trying to think what I even ate. It said okay. Yorkshire provender, roast chicken. Oh, it's a soup. Oh, it's, it's a soup. It's, yeah, it's the fresh soups that they do. Oh, okay, great. Oh, With some uh, chicken breast and cracker bread um, and a toffee yogurt. Yeah, that's those light and free yogurts. It wasn't very nice. I wouldn't buy that again. Wasn't it? No, no, they're not very nice at all. A bit too sweet for me, even though it's, it must be the artificial sweetness. I'm just not used to yeah artificial sweetness it's just not for me but great overall a fantastic week how's your steps been uh last week wasn't too bad i was really busy last weekend because i had like communal litter picks and um and then i went walking and then i've been in the garden so um i think i did about thirty-eight thousand steps in about three days which is pretty good for me um, so I was quite pleased. So yeah, last week wasn't too bad. Was it sixty or seventy thousand steps? I'm, I'm, I, get, I always used to be um, quite pleased with that. Tomorrow I'm on a guided walk, so that should be fun. Oh, Part of the National Forest uh, Walking Festival. So that one will be at Branston Lees, um, by where the riverside is in Burton, um, just the nature reserve and that round there. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, so that's really nice. So I've got that to look forward to. So what are your goals for next week? Weight-wise or? Just or generally, weight. is there anything you want to change no. and weight-wise? No. I think my head's in the right place to keep on tracking. It knows not to deviate off, even when sometimes I feel like I'm having a bad day. I just know not to. I think I've trained it not. I feel guilty if I was to even have a day off, I think. Yeah. It's just whatever works for people, isn't it? I know some people probably need that one day where they just blow out and other people just need to stay focused all the time. So that's that's what I'm going to do. But the good thing with yourself particularly, you are focusing on nutrients and the health side of it, which is perfect. So think, yeah. actually, you don't really need that blowout because, you you know, to you, your lovely vegetables in the garden that you're growing and stuff is your treat, isn't it? Because they taste so somewhere good. Behind, somewhere behind <laughs> Yeah, they're <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's just the whole mental you know when you know where you've nurtured those vegetables and they just make them taste better as well so they do. yeah they do yeah well no, the nature's that, that treats 
that bit's never been a problem with me. I've always eaten like kind of the right things. It's just that my body fights against it and and yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, no, I always have to be careful um, for like putting too much sugars in my diet because obviously that's an anti-inflammatory and obviously having bursitis, um, you need to sort of feed it to make it better, not make it worse. Absolutely. So I am very mindful. So how many pounds would you like your goal to be for next week? We're going for two again because that's what it tells me on my app. Fabulous. <laughs> that's what I programmed it to Correct do. answer. Yay. <laughs> and any more is a bonus. Please be more. <laughs> Have you got any other questions? No. <laughs> Fab. Right. That's it from me. I will right, speak baby. to you on Tuesday. Yes. Have a good week. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Eloise. Right, Enjoy baby. your weekend. You're welcome. All right, Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Bye.